Alright, so before we actually go ahead and turn on the ASUS transformer, let's go ahead and let's review just the hardware itself. So when you unbox it, uh, the first thing that you'll find is that it has this little uh, plastic cover here. This you can remove, um, you don't, really don't need it, but what it's doing is it's protecting the port that you use when you're going to dock it into the keyboard if you have one. Um, I don't see any need to walk around with the cover on. Um, nothing's going to get in that port, but it's up to you if you want to keep it off or on. As we go on the sides, what you find here is you'll find the uh, mini HDMI or the micro HDMI connector. You have your volume rocker. And then also what we have right here is the port for the, or the actual slot for the micro SD card. At the top, you'll find the power button. You'll also find a, the mic. And then on the back, you'll obviously find the camera for the back viewer, and then in the front, you'll have the one in the front. Uh, one thing that's uh, a little disappointing about this tablet, as it compares to maybe some of the other tablets, but it's very comparable to what you see in the iPad, is that it only has one speaker. So it'll be interesting to see um, how loud the music um, sounds, and if, um, as it gets covered, if it gets muffled at all. And then uh, lastly, you have a microphone jack. So here we have, uh, just so you can see from a comparison perspective, the Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, 10.1, the ASUS Transformer Prime, and what you have over here is an iPad. One of the things that we'll notice immediately as we put them next to each other, or on top of each other, is that the ASUS is a bit wider, um, as if we were to look at it this way. I'll put them right here. You notice that the ASUS is a little bit wider, uh, the other thing that we'll notice also is that the ASUS is a bit taller. If we look at um, this area right here, you'll notice that it is um, a bigger device than the actual Galaxy Tab. If we were to compare it to the iPad, I think we're going to find the same thing. That the ASUS is wider than the iPad, and it also is definitely taller than the iPad. Um, you know, almost, I'd say, an inch taller. From the actual with perspective, while everyone, I think ASUS claims that the ASUS Transformer Prime is um, very thin, if not potentially even a slight tad thinner than the uh, iPad, it's, it's really negligible. I, I, I can feel that the iPad is maybe a little bit higher than the ASUS, but it's not anything that is uh, significant that you're going to immediately react and say, wow, this is very thin. As it compares to weight, just holding them, uh, I'd say... It, it feels comparable to the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, so not much of a difference there. And um, I'd say they're, they're pretty similar. I find that maybe the iPad feels a little bit heavier, and it may be just because this device tends to be a little bit longer, so it distributes weight a little bit better. But uh, again, not much of a difference there. What you'll find, as we spoke about earlier, as we compare these devices, the uh, iPad 2 has one speaker. And if we were to look at the same thing with the ASUS, it has one speaker on opposite sides, but they each have one speaker. If I were to look here at the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the uh, speaker is not found on the back, but it's actually found on the corners. So you'll see that it's, uh, where is it? It's right there. So you'll see it on this corner and you'll see it on this corner. So it's on both sides. So that's uh, something that's a little bit different. Um, as you look at the iPad, the iPad has its camera on, on the corner, and the Asus and the Galaxy Tab have them in the same position, and, and they both have flash, which the iPad 2 uh, doesn't. The volume rocker uh, is in a different position. So if we were to look at where we have our charging port uh, here, and also the port that we use for connecting or docking, uh, what you'll find is that the, um, the layout is very similar, if not for the speaker, right? So the speaker is right there. But you have your volume rocker on the actual Samsung on the top bevel on this side with the power button. And when we think about the Asus, the volume rocker is here with the actual power button over here. So the placement is a little bit different. Uh, the actual headset jack is on the opposite side. So when you think about where the headset jack, where you plug in, it's on the bottom or, or on the side, depending on how you're holding the Asus. On the Samsung, it's on the top, again, or on the side, depending on how you hold it. 
but again, it's on opposite or on different sides of the device. And here, when as we look at the uh, iPad, it's at the very top. Uh, one of the things that I failed to identify when we were doing uh, looking at some of the hardware during the unboxing is that the Asus does have some little rubber feet. Uh, they don't really extend that much, but as this sits into the keyboard docking station, I'm sure that provides a certain amount of cushion there so that um, your device doesn't get scratched or banged up on the bottom. All right.